Hey guys, I'm Eric Konohia, President and CEO of BPISecurity.com, and I want to welcome you to the BPI Security YouTube channel. Welcome back. Today I want to go over yesterday's blog titled, There are too many experts amongst us to fail. And in fact, there are too many experts, leaders, and qualified specialists amongst all of us for any of us to fail. All you need to do is know how to approach them and ask the right questions. The impetus of yesterday's blog was based on a phone call I had the night before from a business owner that I've been mentoring in branding and marketing and business strategies for the last year. And he told me he received a phone call from one of his clients asking him to provide executive protection services in a post-conflict region that is still considered high threat. I immediately knew that he was not qualified to handle this task. So I gave him options. I supplied him with resources and assets that I know that are in that, re in that region that I've used in the past that could get it done for him. But I, what I also told him that he needs to make the hard decision that he needs to stay home and be the prime on this detail. He'll still get the money. He'll still be able to provide the services for his client, but he has to trust the resources on the ground to do the right job. By setting yourself up and going out there for the very first time and not understanding the country culture and the threat that's there, it is a lose-lose situation. It is not the time for people to start checking those boxes, been there, done that. That blog encouraged a lot of feedback. The first feedback was obviously from Frank Gallagher, who just added the spice to the blog and, and cut through the chase by telling people you have to stop thinking that you can do it all and go to the people who know what they're doing and trust that they're going to get the job done, but you have to pay them. That was followed by Raphael who reiterated, hey, the thing that made him where he is today is being smart enough to know that he doesn't know it all. And I always use the term knowing your capabilities and limitations or your limitations and capabilities. As long as you understand those two and be honest with yourself, you'll never set yourself up for failure. Point in fact, just last week, I posted a individual first aid kit that I was given, sent to me by a vendor, and I was going to field test it. In the process of posting that, I got to know Raphael. Well, Raphael had worked with Frank Gallagher, further vetting who Raphael with is. So I know that I only have a certain amount of expertise in being able to field test this IFAC. So what I did was I offered to send it to Raphael to give a better field test of the actual IFAC. And I did. I knew better. I knew my limitations and capabilities, but I knew that Raphael DiGiorgio is more qualified than I am. So I sent it to him. I'm not too prideful to sit back and say, I need help. And that's the difference between the guys who are at the top of this industry and the guys who never seem to pass that lower level that they're on because they're, not, they're too afraid to reach out and ask for help. There are plenty of experts that you can reach out to. I get emails, text messages on a daily basis asking me questions. If I don't know the answer, I refer them to somebody that I know who does have the answer. And in the process, we both learn. So anyway, that's all I wanted to do today. A real short one. Hope the message got across. Um, I posted that on the NAVA website. and It, it was getting a lot of feedback um, as of this afternoon when I posted this video. So I'll end this just like I end every other video and specifically for this specific YouTube um, announcement, it fits. Whenever you're on a detail, there are two protectees, the man or woman in the back right seat and your reputation. Either one get harmed, you're done. Mm -hmm.